This is going to be called the Poire Victoire, which is one of my signature cocktails. Now I'm pressing by hand fresh lime that I just cut a few seconds ago. Now that's the lime. These are the things that go back to the 50s actually. And so a very, very interesting little thing. Never cut your fruit in advance. Cut it the second you use it. Now bartenders say to me, Colin, get serious. When I've got a hundred people to serve, how can I cut my lime or my lemon? How long does it take me to cut a lime or a lemon? How long? One second? Two seconds? I think that my client can wait two extra seconds for a freshly cut lime. Uh, if he's going to wait three minutes for the cocktail, two minutes for the cocktail, he can wait two, two seconds or three seconds more. So there we've got the lime juice. Now I'm going to put a little bit of uh, purified, clarified, marvellous, fantastic apple juice from Normandy. Finish with Grey Goose Pear Vodka. I don't like um, uh, perfumed vodkas in general, but uh, this one is very exceptional. Now, I don't have to make my glass cold because it's already refrigerated at minus 8.3. This I have to get rid of a little bit of water that's in the shaker. Then I'll close it. Um, I'm listening to the ice cubes. I know when they are too much destroyed. When they're too much destroyed, it means that I'm adding water to my cocktail, which I do not want. Here we are. And I finish it with a slice of green pear. And that would be for a gentleman. Now, if it was a lady, depending on what she was wearing, I might garnish it either with a flower like that, or like that, which is very nice. Notice that stalk is outside. Or I might go for a rose, but sometimes I don't like the roses because they're too big. Like this one is a little bit too big, but I love that style as well.